Hi. This is the third vlog. So those of you who've joined the mini challenge, you will have not heard my rant at the end of the second vlog, which was basically all about sleep and how I've put sleep first in my life for the first time in my life and how it's completely changed my life. I'm going home and getting to bed early uh, and I'll be up damn early as well. So if I was to put my hand over this uh, lens, take my hand off the lens, and it's the next day. Hello, it's 4 a.m. Um, Whoa, what are you doing up there? <laughs> what? A leaking water tap wastes enough energy in a day to prepare 500 orange juices. I don't know, I just don't know. I'm gonna run one set of stairs up to the top um, it's only going to take me about three and a half minutes. Basically wakes me up. So at 4.05, I feel like I've done five lines of cocaine. Let's begin. <sighs> Floor six. I am already burnt. There's something very humbling about running stairs or walking stairs. There's no break. Source 22. Are you focusing your little sh up and out before the alarm? I know I bang on and on about um, my wake up routine too much, but I believe that starting the day strong that's what sets the pace for the day that sounds so personal development s but i can't see how if you have a really great first two or three hours how are you then going to have a crap day and if that rings true if that makes sense then that is the key to getting stuff done in your whole life because if you have a great day and you put great days together you're then going to be a productive motherfucker the first 10 minutes is absolutely critical This is, without question, the hardest smoothie of my entire challenge so far. Couldn't do it, too disgusting. A very rare treat for me this morning. I am on my way to the springs. Yeah, if anyone uh, does want a good quality uh, place to stay in the TCOM forward slash Barsha Heights area, I can't speak highly enough about the first central apartments. Um, it's a clean, functional, cheap, decent uh, living space. It's quiet. Um, and there's the added benefit of it also being a brothel. Denzel, how are you today? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm very much good. I asked in my second week, Bob, I said, does anyone want to talk about anything here in, um, on these vlogs? And Anna said, well, can you talk about something about how you plan your food? Because mine is, I eat when I'm out, just basically buy salads every day. So um, it's not really very realistic when you have a family. How do you do it? So she basically sent across her um, plan, how she basically manages her plan. So I'm going to attach it to this uh, vlog's email. So if you are a mum with kids um, and you struggle, uh, perhaps you can get something out of Anna Morris's plan. All right, here's a little fitness tip, yeah? <laughs> it's very, very chewy. When you eat this stuff, I think it's best to go for colorful vegetables. I think that it's the pigment in the vegetable um, that is some kind of phyto, some bollocks, you know, basically the pigment is the good stuff. Get them in, um, get colorful ones as well. But don't go into the phytonutrient, phytochemical, you know, plant biology. Don't do that stuff. Stay away from it. Don't just stay away from it. Reject it. Never buy something because it's a probiotic or a carotenoid or a phytochemical. Burying down into the nutrients of food is one of the worst things human beings have ever done. It's confused us en masse about what is and isn't real food. Because when you're looking at food in terms of nutrients, you stop thinking, is it real? Is it fake? And that's all that it ever comes down to. When you're looking at, you know, whether it's like, um, 
I mean, whether you've got enough probiotics in your blueberry flavored yogurt, you forget that the fact that you're actually eating blueberry flavored yogurt, which is junk. What's the betting that when I open this lift door, the music's gonna be, it's gonna be going. Da 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 da